All right, I'll just uh, let this roll. Just to start? Oh, cheers, by the way. Cheers to the rain. Indeed. Just to start, say your name and what you do. My name is Kel Keller Williams, and I'm a hunter-gatherer. <laughs> so how's life these days? I haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to? What's new? Not much. Not much new. Uh, a lot of the same. Um, um, weekend touring. Yeah. Uh, two kids, now nine and twelve, kind of in a routine with them. And uh, in the routine of leaving on Thursday and returning on Sunday. And uh, those three days, uh, it could be one of several different um, projects. Recently, I've been uh, on a co bill with Leo Kotke, we yep. about 27 shows this year. That's done, and um, that was just an amazing, surreal experience. And, and uh, some of summer festival seasons uh, starting up, and uh, along with that comes an onslaught of Grateful Grass gigs, yep. the uh, novelty bluegrass versions of Grateful Dead songs with massive liberties taken. Is that with Jeff Austin's crew, or is that, no, no that's a Grateful Ball, I'm sorry. Grateful Ball yeah. is, yeah, the uh, Travel McCurries yeah. and Jeff Austin, yeah. So what do you have in Grateful Grass? Grateful Grass is uh, normally different every night. Uh, we just recently did a weekend where the, the, it was the same band all three nights, and that was the first time uh, for that. Uh, sometimes, uh, the, the last last year or so, we did uh, about ten shows or so with the, uh, the infamous String Dusters mm -hmm. uh, as as Grateful Grass. Uh, uh, other times, uh, you know, it's a rotating cast of like Reed Mathis, Keith Mosley, Danton Bowler. Um, the best of the best. Uh, <laughs> Great, great, great people, you know. Uh, the the uh, upcoming players are um, uh, Ben Kaufman, Ali yep. Crawl from um, Yonder, uh, John Skian, and um, Andy Gosling from uh, uh, Railroad Earth, Andy Thacker, I'm sorry, Andy uh, Falco from yep. um, String Dusters. Jeremy Garrett, Andy Hall just just did a, a weekend with uh, Jeff Austin, Danton Bowler, and I. And the list goes on. You know, it's just a, a really fun project that people seem to grasp and allow me to have fun playing well, other people's music. <laughs> might be kind of a loaded question, but what is it about the Dead's music that makes it work in what you're trying to do? I mean, obviously Jerry had a huge bluegrass foundation and folk music, but yeah. and it's always rooted in that. But what is what are you noticing more when you're delving into it from the string side rather than an electric side where um, what are you learning more about the songs that songs you've probably known for a long time yeah well a lot of them I think started in a bluegrass foundation a lot of the uh, Robert Hunter Garcia songs yep. you know some some of those were like traditional songs that were reworked you know so I think it, it starts in, with that and uh, the whole Grateful Dead uh, Americana uh Cross pollination, you know, that uh, has made Grateful Dead music its own genre. You know, I think lends itself to bluegrass music naturally. You know, you could say any song can make a good bluegrass song, but I, I personally think that uh, great, all Grateful Dead songs, you know, with the exception of some, some you shouldn't, some you shouldn't do bluegrass, <laughs> but but most uh, are, are pretty easy to do. But with that said, though, I mean, you're also a one of those hubs of different genres that come through there. What are you seeing out there today? I mean, it seems that, I mean, I guess with, I mean, you've seen the entire rise and downfall of the music industry within your career and also seeing how it's flourishing on the, on the, uh, the new landscape. What's it like out there as an artist? I mean, you've been a, you've been a, a road, road dog for a long time. Um, it, it seems like, you know, there's a, a lot of, <clears throat> uh, more of a full circle type of thing where certain things go away and come back and, and, and things get stuck in phases and it seems like the music industry to me is starting to return a little bit to um, an earlier sound and uh, and that's that's spread out through the whole 
thing like hip hop, you know, it's, it seems some of it's going back to the, the early days. Um, uh, pop music, you know, is definitely grasping onto the EDM world, you know, uh, and that's really interesting. It seems pretty haphazard right now. I mean, especially in Nashville, you know what I mean? It's the, the whole country thing. You see a lot of these country people that are. Well, what you would consider 30 years ago country that are swaying over in the bluegrass, you know. And then the country folks are rap and pop now. But. Well, I've always thought about the idea that one of the things I enjoy about your show is that it's one person creating an energy in an entire space. Have you thought about that kind of idea in, in this kind of world that we live in, the idea that one person can create that kind of energy, or whether it be musically or any other type of art form or just even someone who's out there in the world trying to be positive. Um, no, <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> uh, I, I feel very lucky to be able to do what I do, and and, it's, and with the world as it is, there's so much tension uh, outside, and in the, in the, at least in the media, you know. Um, and so when I'm on stage, I try to keep it light, and I try to keep the entertainment value high. And first and foremost, I try to entertain myself yeah. to make myself forget about everything, and I hope that translates to the audience to make the audience forget about everything, so they can maybe be transformed somewhere in, uh, into some entertainment sphere. Well, that's what we love about it. Is that's that positive. When when you For a little really, while at least. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. time becomes irrelevant when you're right. on stage. You know. Yeah, except when there's other bands wait, waiting to of play. Of course, of course. <laughs> what do you see when you're out there? I mean, you travel a lot. You meet a lot of different people. Are, are you pretty optimistic of... I mean, I know it's it, there's always doom and gloom everywhere with what we're told and what, what we see, but what are your thoughts on uh, where we stand right now as a people? I, I, I guess where I'm coming from is I feel like we as people have more in common than we're told or think we're... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, well, uh, politically, you know, it's an interesting, entertaining time, you know. It's um, very out of the ordinary, out of the norm. It's like an alternate and reality. It's yeah. an alternate reality that has a high entertainment value, you know. And, and that's kind of, I am being thoroughly entertained with what's happening. It's like Back to the Future too. you know what it's I mean? Really, that, it's really, it's time. so... It's it's like a bad movie, you know, um, and I can't like a car wreck. I can't look away in the sense of, of um, I mean, I like bad movies. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Pop Star about with the Andy Samberg. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, and that's so bad. It is awesome. Yeah, you know, it's one of those just awful things uh, that is just so amazing that I've seen twice now. So. Yeah. Uh,